So I feel like um, not enough people are aware of the Drew Barrymore Show. Drew Barrymore's YouTube show. The Drew Barrymore Show. She has some great guests, and if you're like me, you know, you're a little bit addicted to cringe. That toe curling, just what floats your boat, and you're gonna love it. So let's take a look at Drew Barrymore interviewing the one and only Sam Smith. Look at his face. The one person that can freak Sam Smith out. <laughs> I love this. Oh, good. Oh, well, my God. Sam, if you love that, you may love to prick something. <laughs> because... Aha. <laughs> I see what you did there, Drew. The kind of joke Kenneth Williams would have been proud of in the Carry On films. Ooh, matron. Giving a good prick is yeah. just a pleasure, if it you know what I mean. Is. That's good. It's good to see that she's responsible with her audience. They're all masking up, keeping safe. Now, the rest of the world's gone back to normal, but L.A. never going back to normal. Why? Because they're better than us, okay? L.A. is better than the rest of the backward science denying world and they need to show us that at every available opportunity lest we forget yes. ah! oh whose idea was this segment this pop quiz they pop the balloons to get the questions out for the guests i bet it was drew's idea do you know what would be really fun if for every question we had to explode a balloon with a prick and i can make prick jokes Stupid Yes Men production team just like, oh, for fucks. It's the poor lackey intern that I feel sorry for. I has to spend all afternoon rolling up those questions and stuffing them into <laughs> balloons at the behest of Drew Barrymore. He is technically in Hollywood. Technically. <laughs> Craziest fan encounter. Ooh. Um, One sick bastard I met wanted me to put nipple tassels on while he urinated on me. Why would he think I'd be into that? Where would he get that kind of idea? It was very odd. I was outside a venue and they gave me a saucepan and inside the frying pan was an envelope and inside the envelope was a mobile phone. <laughs> and then uh, on a letter it just said, meet me in the library tomorrow. Did you go? No. Uh, Absolutely not. I... But I've always wanted to know what happened, what went down in the library. You and I and everyone else listening to this knows exactly what goes down at that library. Sodomy! I know. I feel like that's <laughs> kind of like... Are you not doing it? Oh, yeah, I will. I yeah, will. I, I, I wanted to give the pleasure, because I get so much pleasure out of this. Are we You're ready? Gonna do it. And Drew's crawling around on the floor again. But the jokes, give in, receive in. Pleasure and <laughs> pricks. Ah, oh, on point. <laughs> mm. Ah! <laughs> you know what else is funny about balloons? Watch. <laughs> Who is your first ever celebrity crush? Leanne Battersby on Coronation Street. Everything about Sam's alike. He's not even gay or southern. <laughs> oh, I'd have given her one. Leonardo DiCaprio and Titanic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you're gonna. I love that this he's one. like still clubbing. You know. Is he? Yeah. A hundred percent. Goes you, on is this yachts for you? and. You want to answer this one? He goes to the body shop. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> is the body shop? Is that a brothel? Is she saying that Leonardo DiCaprio uses ladies of the night? Oh, very clever joke. Libelous, some might say. If you could be transformed into any cartoon character, who would it be? Oh my god, turn around! I said turn around! You are going to help me. No! Nobody's doing that! Oh, what? At least it was original. If this was some other basic bitch YouTuber, they'd pause the video here and think for a few minutes, oh, who's a fat, ugly cartoon character? Uh, Patrick Starfish. Duh. That should be quite funny. <laughs> Ursula. <laughs> That's actually, yeah. Very self-aware. Well done. <laughs> oh, you're good at this. Thank you. I'm, now I'm, like, doing a different... What would your Spice Girl's name be? Dirty Spice. Smutty Spice. Pervy Spice? Something that always bothered me about the Spice Girls, and it always bothered me. 
always. The, none of them were named after spices, except ginger. Ginger's a spice, isn't it? Sporty, scary, posh, baby. They're not spices. What would they have called the members of the band, though, if they'd have actually had to have named them after real spices? What are some common spices? We've already got ginger, nutmeg. I mean, one of them could have been Megan. Nutmel, paprika, doesn't really. Black pepper, scary was... So, clove, cardamom, sporty, cardio mum, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'd work. Coriander, saffron. Oh, basil spice, have a boy. <laughs> Sage, the wise spice. Curry powder, they could have got a... All spice, yeah, that could have been one who's like multi, multi-faceted. Anyway, that was quite a tangent, let's, uh, on with the video, eh? What would your Spice Girl's name be? Oh, Chubby. Chubby? Yeah, Chubby Spice. Ah, oh, and the self-deprecating is starting to endear himself to me. Good answer, Sam. Oh, Juicy Spice. Juicy. Juicy Spice. Oh, don't say that. No, don't ruin it. I'm thinking of you being all juicy, like a slow-cooked ham. Like a hog roast with an apple in its mouth. The juice is running off it. <laughs> what would yours be? Cringy Spice. Drinky Spice. I'd be naughty spice. Perfect. Perfect. Would you rather have le <laughs> Would you rather have legs for arms or arms for legs? I, I mean, I that. hate feet, so I'd have arms for legs. Oh good, he hates feet. That's one sick demonic fetish he's not into, so. <laughs> yeah. Why do you hate feet? I just I would rather we all had hooves. I see I jumped the gun. Yeah, to be fair, he is just having a laugh, isn't he? Like one of the lads. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> anyway, because everyone's taking the piss out of Sam Smith all the time, you know, you come into this uh, expecting him to be absolutely ridiculous. And he's not. You know, I think that people have got him wrong in the sense that I think he's just doing what pop stars have done for 40 years, what Madonna did back in the 80s. In fact, I was watching Douglas Murray and he said the exact same thing today on Piers Morgan. Uh, he said that there's nothing shocking about it. He's doing the demon, oh, sexual stuff. And it's like, well, you know, it's all been done before. The only difference is he's fat and kind of ugly. So it's like, you know, it's sort of a bit more shocking. You don't expect it. Uh, and it's it's working. It's just marketing, isn't it? At the end of the day, he's he seems like a completely normal person when he's talking, to be honest. Except the odd weird thing, like when he says he's a, he likes fishing and that he'd like to be a fisher them and stupid shit like that. But I think it might all be part of a marketing ploy. I don't know. I've got no idea. But I will tell you this: if there's one person that can make Sam Smith look down to earth. Like a normal pedestrian stand-up citizen of the world, it's Drew Barrymore. How do you feel about it? Adele totally. is amazing. Totally. I, yeah. I, when I, I got the pleasure of hanging out with her once, yeah. and I was like, oh, wow, She's you amazing. sound like you're so cool. Yeah, so cool. <laughs> like, she so seems cool. so regal yeah. and, like, almost unattainable. And then you hang out with her and you're like, oh, you're the coolest. Yes. Say what you want about Sam Smith's demonic routines on stage and how it's all sexually perverted and whatever. I agree. I look at it and I think, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's my response. However, he sits down and he speaks to someone. He sounds like a normal human being. She's fucking crazy. Who talks like this? I think maybe it's that thing that people might think that you're alike because you're both so cool Aww. and so talented. Thank you, Drew. And award-winning and accoladed and appreciated. Thank you. And I, I love your realness and your humanity and how that you seem like a big red beating heart, and that is how I want to operate in the world. Shut up, bitch! <laughs> Her voice drips with the same falsehood that the voice of Kamala Harris drips with. Well, that's about all I can take of this drivel for one night. I'm off to bed, all right? And in the morning, I want to see thousands and thousands of likes and views and, sh you know, loads of new subscribers and all of that is down to you guys, okay? All right? I'll leave it in your hands, right? Can I get a good night's sleep? Please? Is that too much to ask? I'll see you in the next one, I guess. Bye.
Thanks for watching. I don't get this Sam Smith thing. It just seems like every week he deliberately... They. I'm sorry, they, even though there's only, one, there's only one of them.